Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Acres Evolving. Today I'm gonna to be working on a new project in my backyard. I'm gonna be creating a new flower bed that's actually gonna join two of the large flower beds in my backyard. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around and show you where I'm gonna be working. So this area is the area that I'm gonna be working in today. Um, this is the pathway that I made in the last video. And then along the fence line, I'm gonna be creating a new flower bed that goes all the way and connects back to this flower bed. And then eventually I'll have one going along this fence line and then it'll circle all the way around. Now, um, this area over here is gonna be changing a little bit. This building over here, I'm gonna have a greenhouse going off the side of it that's gonna go about 20 feet off to the side. And then I'll have a picket fence going from that greenhouse all the way to this fence line. And then the privacy fence will go all the way down. So the flower bed will go all the way down the fence line and then down the picket fence line and in front of the greenhouse. And then it'll stop at the deck that I'm gonna be building on the front of this building. So what I have to do now is I have to go in and cut out the edge. I'm gonna measure it from where the privacy fence is gonna be because that's gonna be extended down as well. So I want the flower bed to be at least six feet wide. So I'm gonna cut the edge out and then dig out all the grass and weeds. And then I have a couple of plants that I'm gonna be planting. One back here, and then these two. I'll talk a little bit about those once I'm ready to plant them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set the camera up and get started on this area. have this flower bed pretty much cleaned out. 
Um, I already have two plants in this area. I have two forsythia shrubs. These shrubs start out yellow in the spring and then they turn this green color. And I'll definitely be putting more plants in here eventually. And I'm gonna be mulching this area up as well. Now I haven't been able to uh, get any mulch recently. So unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to mulch it up in this video, but I'll definitely give updates on this area once I'm able to do that. And then these two trees will be coming out. Um, unfortunately, they're leaning over the fence. And also, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a power line in there. And I don't wanna risk it. So these two trees will be coming out and then I'll be grinding out the stumps. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up and I'll tell you about the plants that I'm gonna be planting. All right, so this first plant that I'm planting is called Helen Von Stein Lamb's Ear. Um, I'm gonna be planting one on e either side of the new pathway that I made. This is kind of off to the side of the new flower bed that I just created. These plants are hardy down to zone four and up to zone eight, and I am in a zone seven, so these are perfect for my area. They get about eight inches tall and about 15 to 18 inches wide. And depending on how big they get, I may plant a few more alongside these just to kind of fill in the area. And then this other one that I'm gonna be planting is called a Royal Purple Smoke Tree. Now this one gets rather large, so I set it back a little bit. This one gets up to 15 feet tall and about 12 feet wide. So this is over here, let me see if I can show you. This is over here on the edge of this new flower bed. Remember the trees and the stumps are gonna be going. And then it's over here on the edge to kind of fill in this area. And this one is also hardy down to zone five, so this one will do perfect in my area as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get these planted up. All right, so I got these planted and I think where I have these placed, I think they'll look really good. This one's gonna get pretty large, so it'll fill in this corner really well. And then I hate that I wasn't able to mulch this area in. However, it's kind of good because I need to go in and put drip tubing in this area and it'll be a lot easier for me to do that uh, without a bunch of mulch in here. And then I'll probably be planting more things in this area this fall. And then next spring, I'll definitely be planting a lot more in this area. And then also in the area on the other side of the pond. And then the grass, um, it's pretty thin and there's a bunch of weeds in it right now. Uh, but next spring, I'm gonna be pulling all this up and reseeding so that the yard will look a whole lot better. And then in my previous videos and in this one, you've probably noticed the lot next door how overgrown everything is back there. Um, I actually own this lot next door as well. And 
I have big plans for this area. This lot is about the same size as my regular lot, but it's just full of trees. But I definitely have a lot of plans for this area. And I'm planning on doing a tour video, hopefully this week, so I can show you my main property and everything I have planned. And then I can show you a little bit of this property as well and let you know what I have planned for this area as well. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next one.